Hi everybody! In this second lesson, we will start manipulating basic commands in the Photoshop software. To do this, we will open an existing picture. Look at the name of the picture opened and the value of the zoom ratio. 1. To zoom in, press on the keyboard key control plus. Look how we can zoom in in order to view each pixel. 2. To zoom out, press on the keyboard key control minus. 3. Once the picture is too big on the screen and you want to move it, never use the horizontal and vertical scrolling bar. This is not the professional way. Press on the space keyboard key and with the mouse, move the picture. Look how I am moving the image in all directions. In order to know the size of the image, execute the command image image size. See how you can have information about the picture. The image size is in megabyte, the width and height in pixel or centimeters, and the resolution. It is possible to change the size of the picture by changing the value of the width or height. Look how by changing the value of the width, the height value will change automatically in order to maintain the aspect ratio of the image. Before terminating this lesson, we will look over the toolbar existing on the left of the screen. In case you do not see it, execute the command Windows Tool. The toolbar contains all the tools needed to edit an image. Look at the magnifier, the text tool, the brush tool, and the rectangle marquee tool. Note that most of the tools hide behind them another tool. Look at the triangle located on the bottom right corner of the icon tool. Click and hold for one second on the rectangle marquee tool to display the hidden tools. Look at the elliptical marquee tool. Again, click and hold for one second on the lasso tool to display the hidden tools. Look how the polygonal lasso and the magnetic lasso are displayed. Now it is your turn to open an image and to change its width to 450 pixels. Then to zoom to the max in order to see the smallest pixel. Thank you for watching this tutorial and do not forget to follow us on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram in order to access two additional educational resources.